Uh, I suppose tell us about the opportunity that you have here against Nico Montano going for the title and you know finally having that opportunity in the flyweight division to give that chance? Uh, for me, like um, every fight, it's fight. It doesn't matter if it's for title or not title. I every time prepare me as best as I can. And for me, it's like one more fight. And of course, I'm very happy that this fight, particular fight, it will be for the title because um, I've been away for a long time for the UFC belt and uh, finally I am feeling like very happy because UFC created exactly the weight class uh, where uh, I can feel me very comfortable because um, before we had opportunity to fight 135 and 115 it's like dying in cutting weight or um, have like another opportunity to fight with someone bigger and like uh, to manage uh, a lot of uh, work when you're fighting and now in 125 in one f uh, in flight uh, flight uh, flyweight division I feel like uh, this is exactly where I have to be and how did you go about making that transition because you were fighting 135 so you maybe had to add muscle what have you to get up to that weight class I mean I don't know how much weight you were cutting if at all to be at 135 but now that you have 25 and that's where you started out your career I mean how did you come back down to that weight class? Uh, for my fights in bantam weight in 135, I never was cutting weight. So my walk weight is 135, and usually I was like every time this weight. And for the fight, I was exactly the same weight. That's why it was a little bit like um, difficult, not difficult, um, difference. It was difference to fight with someone who was cutting from 155 to 150 pounds. And then after the weigh-in, gaining like almost the same bag. And of course, it's very different when you fight uh, fighting with someone bigger. It doesn't mean that I had, uh, I was like uh, feeling me so bad. No, I was feeling me very good in bantam weight very strong in bantam weight the same good but i want to say that in fly weight i feel me much better because fighting with the same sized opponent it's uh, something that um, give you opportunity to uh, show more skills from you did it take longer than you wanted to get this fight put together because i see on social media that you know there was some back and forth between the both of you about getting the fight started for the, the, the title fight that you have? Of course, I would like to uh, happen it uh, before because I was ready to uh, fight in June, in July, <laughs> in August, <laughs> now September. Of course, I wanted to make it happen before, but um, it's uh, not every time things uh, happen as you want. And um, doesn't matter now, now. Uh, I already like I don't think about it now I have only September September 8 in my mind one day and I will be ready for this date and I hope that Nico she will um, like follow her word and will show up in the octagon and we will fight because um, how I say every time before she will be inside of the octagon I cannot believe she that she will do it how are you enjoying Las Vegas? Seems like you're really making the most of your time here. I've seen some things on social media that you've gone out shooting. I know you enjoy doing that and doing some hiking. How's the city treating you? I love Las Vegas and one of the best things that UC Center is here. <laughs> UC Performance Institute is a great place to train. It's uh, like you have everything. I have everything here. I have place for train. I have a uh, place for uh, physical therapy. I have uh, uh, like uh, cafeteria that I spend a lot of time in there. <laughs> so this is great. And um, I, lo I, I love atmosphere um, of Las Vegas and I love the nature. I I very enjoy um, being on the lake and on the Colorado River. So it's a very nice place where I, um, know what we are like spending time here. Is this the first time that you've used the PI so extensively for a training camp? <laughs> um, no, uh, for training camp we started. Uh, here, but before we was on training camp of my sister for, for her contender fight. And um, first time when we came to UCPI, it was uh, maybe last year, if not, I'm not mistaken, somewhere in October or November. And we've been trained here for maybe one month. 
and then get back to Texas. And uh, uh, here we we come before her fight of uh, my sister, and we stand we stay like all the time. <laughs> what are some of the main things that you've found out about how your body works from the work that you've done here at the at the institute? Uh, pretty the same because uh, we have, uh, I, especially me, I have the same type of work. Uh, I'm working, I'm training with my coach, Pavel Fedotov, as every time. And he's doing the same type of work that we are, were doing like all over the places. That's why for me it's uh, difficult to say what's the difference because it's, I know the difference. Um, mm, uh, I know that it's uh, this is like every time progress for me, and because uh, Pavel he's looking on uh, what is like missing on, on on my work and what I have to be in what I have to be better, and she, uh, he is like doing exactly the same exercises and. Um, like physically, I feel the same. Physically, I feel the same. And now uh, this time when I have to um, put a little bit more and more, like to put me in the fight condition. So I have from here like two weeks on hard work and then fight week. So uh, for this time before the fight week, I will be on the top of my um, physical condition. Your sister recently was on the Dana White Contender Series, made the uh, got the contract. So what's it going to be like for you having your sister fight alongside you in the UFC? Uh, you know, for me it's everything, because we every time was fighting with my sister Antonina everywhere together. I mean, like in the same uh, championships. Every time in our Muay Thai fights, we've been fighting on the same events. And uh, when I was signed with um, uh, UFC and she was signed with Lion Fight promotion, it of course it, it was a little bit different. I was preparing for my fight, she was preparing for her fight, and it was like as, uh, all like different time. And now uh, we will like go back in the same what we were doing like for whole our life to fight in the same promotions as to the same promotion you see and I'm very exciting and of course it's uh, make me very happy and feel me so good uh, to know that we are first uh, sisters in UFC history. And uh, on that note, do you know, like, uh, training-wise, will you be still working together? Like, is she coming here also to the Performance Institute? Oh, yes. She's here. She's with me because we are traveling all together. Me, her, and our coach, we are traveling everywhere together. But now she went to our home country, to Kyrgyzstan, and she has sp she's spending um, some time with our family, our mom, uh, our grandfather, uh, my aunt. Um, uh, and uh, uh, she having a great time. I think she's deserving it because uh, she was uh, training so hard for this contender fight, and she in uh, like uh, uh, she get contract what uh, contract with UFC what she wanted, and now she's like uh, putting her um, all energy together to make her UFC debut the same good that it was uh, her fight in contender series. You know, in your career, when you when you uh, experience a, a tough defeat, uh, and you're not used to that, how does that affect you? How do how do how do you move on? How do you process that in your own mind to to become better? Mm, you know. Um, I'm training martial arts since five years old, already 25 years, yeah? I'm not the fighter who just started like a few years ago. And, uh, you know, I feel me very blessed that I have my coach, Pavel Fedotov, with me, because he is not only coach who put you in good physical condition. No, he's, on, uh, uh, he's also like... Um, looking for my mental condition for the fight. He's giving me the right motivation when, uh, and he knows me because I, I'm training with him already 25 years. So um, he knows me from like from zero to 10, like very good. And it's enough for him just to see me and he know what I think. So he, uh, he know very good how to manipulate and how to put me in the right condition. And if I feel sometimes like uh, something like mm, not happy or something like oh, some kind like, like this, uh, he give me right motivation to continue. And um, you know, I can say that for me, martial arts, it's not only my job. 
uh, martial arts for me it's my life and it's my philosophy it's my lifestyle it's everything for me that's why i don't have to have some kind of extra motivation because being martial artist for me it's my own motivation and my principle my principle is it's like uh, to participate it's not for me just like to fight for participation it's not for me i go into the fight to win the fight if i fight i have to win this and this is my main goal that's why i know if uh, was something wrong I have to be better every time. This is in my mindset. I I I just like feel me like this. I never will uh, give up in nothing. How do you see your fight playing out when you go and uh, what do you see as some of the keys of victories for you? Uh, just doing everything that I was training for uh, all these years was that I've been in martial arts and keep doing the same. It um, doesn't matter what I have to do for the fight, what I have to use. It doesn't matter where I have to fight in stand up, in the ground, in the wrestling. I will do everything because I feel me very comf comfortable in every uh, like aspect of the fight. And, um, you know, uh, how I say, Pavel, he um, trained me every time, like, he modulate different situation of the fight. It uh, doesn't matter if I will have it or I, like, maybe not, but we will train it. Because in case if I will get, uh, if I will receive it on the fight and I will face some, like, strange situation, I will know how to react. That's why uh, this is it to do uh, the same what I have to do. It's like to win the fight. <laughs> Okay. And you mentioned uh, until the fight happens, it sounded like you, you're concerned that you could still pull out. Are, are there, are you, is that in your mind that there's a possibility that she might not show up for the fight? You know, you know everything can happen. Be, knowing her, seeing her, how she was reacting, or how she was saying first um, when uh, she said, I'm ready for July 7 and she wanted to fight in international week in July 7. But when uh, you see came back to her and said like, okay, do it, let's do it uh, July 28th. She said, no, I, I need more time. So you never know uh, when you deal with a person who said something like this and turn for another side and then like playing all around, you never know uh, what can happen. And how I said, I, before I see her exactly in the octagon, I will not like uh, believe that she will do like everything right. You mentioned you've been trained <laughs> since you were like five years old. What was it about your upbringing uh, to take, bring you on this career path? Because it's quite unusual to be a fighter as a man or a woman, but two sisters. And yeah, up. yeah. It's uh, all because our family and in our family martial arts is like a tradition because of our mom she is uh, president of kyrgyzstan muay thai federation and she is a uh, taekwondist she has third a third and black belt and she is who brought us me and my sister to uh, martial arts and uh, my sister she is um, uh, training since seven years old the same like young age and um, uh, she just put us to the gym and said, and said like, you girls, you will do it. <laughs> and you know, in my life, I never uh, thought about like this kind of, um, you will have this choice in your life and you will decide what you will do, something like this. It's not something that I upset, no, because at five years old, what you can think. Yet you, you usually like you don't think about nothing. You just do what parents say to you to do. And but when I grew up and I've been like maybe 11, 20, 12 years old, I really understand that this is the life what I want to have and I want to um, dedicate my life to the martial arts and I was uh, already start to my uh, start my training more like uh, deeply and to understand what I'm doing and uh, now I so thankful to my mom that she brought me and my sister to martial arts. Is she pretty uh, surprised that 
your fighting mixed martial arts? Ah, uh, no, no. She put us in martial arts, and I think she wanted the, uh, the best way, the best career that we can have. And she knows that, um, like Pavel, he he will give us good success in our career. That's why she uh, like put us in his school, and uh, I think she's happy. She's not surprised because she's very tough. She's uh, any anyway, anytime she's saying like, if I doing something wrong, she said, what are you doing? <laughs> like, do it this way. She's very tough. <laughs> what kind of advice is she giving you for this uh, this upcoming fight? You know, it's interesting <laughs> because she's um, uh, she's coach and she uh, has her own students who are um, like Asian champion in Muay Thai and uh, like a medalist of uh, Muay Thai World uh, Championships, and uh, she she coaches them, but in when uh, when we speak about me and my sister, she preferred to uh, give advices that our coach Pavel he give us advices, and she's only like, okay, like uh, motivation, like um, not with technical advices, but in general, like go girls, I'm with you, something like this, because she knows that uh, Pavel uh, know everything, and uh, she like all like. She trusts him very much, and um, that's why she knows that uh, her like personal motivation it will be enough for us. <laughs> You've had a ton of experience when it comes to fighting as compared to Nico. When you look at the amount of fights that you've had compared to what she's had, do you think that that's one of your strengths in fighting someone like her that you've had that much experience? And you know, it's every time in all my fight, my experience it's helped me. And of course, I I was dealing with all kind of opponents and uh, all style of opponents, bigger, smaller, faster, like um, every everything, everything that I can, uh, every everyone that I can fight, I fought, and. Um, and of course, it's one of the things of my strengths, but um, there are other things. It's all my technique, experience, and strength. It's like all combining together, and it's everything will work together for the fight. I guess just the last one for me. I know that you don't want to think too far ahead, but should you win and get the belt, are you happy to go along the lines of like Demetrius Johnson and defend that belt 20 times so nobody will ever get it? Or do you want to go the route that everybody else seems to try to do now and be a champ champ and possibly go back and fight at a bantamweight afterwards? You know, it's every every like uh, situation that you said now, it will work for me. Uh, um, I was um, in my Muay Thai career. Uh, for 10 years undefeated. So I've been every year like winning my world championship and no one in my weight class, 60 kilograms, could, uh, could not like take the gold from me. And of course it will be the same goal for me to do it in UFC. Thank you. All right, thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.